So in this problem, we have an arithmetic sequence. Uh, the fourth term is minus 5, and the sum of the first 40 terms is 130. And we're asked to find the sum of the first 10 terms. Okay? So we're going to have to go about this in a quite a similar way as we did in the previous video. Uh, we're going to take our two bits of information, that the fourth term is minus 5 and the sum of the first 40 terms is 130, and convert those into algebra, into two equations involving A and D. So the fourth term is minus 5, so I can write down U4 is minus 5. And so using this formula here, that's telling me that A plus N minus 1, so 4 minus 1, so 3 the fourth term must be equal to minus 5, and that will be equation number 1. Okay. I'm then told that the sum of the, four, the first 40 terms is 130, so S of 40 is 130. So in order to work with that, I must use this last formula here. Remember, I don't use that one. I don't want it in terms of L. I want it in terms of A and D. So the sum of the first 40 terms is 1 half times N times 2A plus N minus 1, so 39D. And that has got to be equal to the 130. Now, it's not in its neatest form as it stands. So if I um, multiply through by this, so expand the bracket out. So a half times 40 is 20. So multiply through by 20. I'm going to get a 40a and then 20 times 39 is 780. So 780d is equal to 130. Now I can simplify that a bit more, okay? Um, I can divide through by, um, well, I could divide through by 10 to start off with. So, well, if we just do 10, we're going to get 4a plus 78d is equal to 13, and that can be equation number 2, okay? So I now need to solve these two simultaneous equations. Now, I'm going to eliminate the A's. That looks like the easiest option. So if I take equation 2 and subtract four lots of equation 1, then I get 4A take away 4A, so 0. 78D take away four lots of 3D, so 78D take away 12D is 66D. And then I've got 13, take away 4 lots of minus 5. 4 lots of minus 5 is minus 20. So 13 take away minus 20 is actually 33. So that means that the common difference is 33 divided by 66. So D is a half, or 0.5. So if d is 0 0.5, I can substitute that into equation number 1 and get a plus 3 lots of 0 0.5 is 1.5 is equal to minus 5. And so a is minus 6.5. So I now have the first term and the common difference. Okay. Now, what I've been asked to do is find the sum of the first 10 terms. Now, I have all the information I need to use that formula there. So the sum of the first 10 terms is equal to 1 half times n times 2a, so 2 lots of a, minus 6.5, plus n minus 1, so 9, times d, which is 0.5. So pop that into the calculator. 1 half times 10 times 2 lots of minus 6.5 plus 9 lots of 0.5 gets me minus 85 over 2, so minus 42.5. 
okay? And that is the sum of the first uh, 10 terms.